300, Rise of an Empire. What is it about men in skirts that we love so much? In Europe, these films were once called peplum, after the Latin word for tunic. Here we just call them sword and sandal movies, and they really caught on in the late 50s, early 60s, as we've talked about before, when the Montana-born former Mr. Universe Steve Reeves appeared in Hercules. The film was a huge sensation all over the world. The film industry recently rebooted the genre with Clash of the Titans, and this was in part due to the surprising success of a 2006 film based on a graphic novel by Frank Miller entitled 300. This film, you may recall, featured Scotsman Gerard Butler as King Leonidas, who utters the immortal line, This is Sparta! Kicking someone into a well, I believe. Lena Hetty as Queen Gorgo, and Brazilian actor Rodrigo Santoro as a chain-bedecked, uh, studded, and, and, and pierced, and mostly naked, Persian King Xerxes. This new 300 Rise of an Empire is directed by somebody named Noam Murrow, that, uh, frankly, I've never heard of. I looked up his previous credits, haven't heard of those either. Um, and obviously, Gerard Butler's not coming back. Uh, the film is set, is a sequel, but it's set at basically the same time. Len Petty is back as Queen Gorgo. Rodrigo Santoro is back as mostly naked King Xerxes. This time we get Aussie Sullivan Stapleton as fierce Athenian warrior Themistocles. How's that for a mouthful? Best of all, however, is Ava Green of Casino Royale as Persian Admiral Artemisia. Whoa! Although the visuals are still pretty unique and, and really do look like you're seeing a graphic novel brought to life, the murky 3D you know, uh, effects were driving me crazy. I felt like I needed a flashlight to look at this screen. And the action sequences are frankly over the top and really too implausible to take very seriously. Ava Green almost makes this, is almost the, the proverbial worth the price of admission. Green has features like an art deco goddess and she wears this very sexy looking armor and she, she has this smoky voice and she's just really something to see. We may have just discovered the screen's next Wonder Woman. How about it? With my entire